Okay, next question. 1.4, this has to do with complex numbers. Okay, so with complex numbers, you there are some rules that we worked with as well, or some things that you need to remember, like powers of i, how to work them out. You should know that one. And here I have two fractions that uh, contain complex numbers, and I want to subtract them. So just like any other fractions, when you're subtracting, the denominators must be the same. But here you can see the denominators are obviously not the same. So uh, with any numbers, when you're adding or subtracting and you want to make the denominators the same you can always uh, use the lowest common multiple which i will do over here or multiply the two of them and then the numerators as well so that's how i'll do it so the first uh, denominator is three plus two i the second one is three minus two i then this one here i'll put it in brackets because it's the whole thing multiplying it already has 3 plus 2i the only thing is missing is this one so it is 3 minus 2i and then minus this i put it in brackets again so it's 1 minus i and then uh it had this one here which is that one so what is missing is this one so it's 3 plus 2i so I'm combining fractions and you just need to make sure that the denominators are the same. Okay, so now I will multiply out the brackets. You know how to do that. Everything in the first bracket should multiply everything in the second bracket, which is easy enough to do. So I say one times three, this is three, and then one times minus two i, this is minus two i, because I have a positive times a negative. Then minus i times 3, this is minus 3i. And then minus i times minus 2i, this is negative and negative, my answer will be positive. And then i times i is i squared, so I have positive 2i squared. So I haven't worked out the value of i squared yet, I still need to do that. So I'm just writing down uh, the product of the two brackets, that's it. Then I move on to this next one, I have minus. And I will still have a bracket here to show that I am subtracting this product, not just the first term I have over there. Say 1 times 3, this is 3. 1 times 2i, this is 2i. And then minus i times 3, this is minus 3i. And then minus i times 2i, this is minus 2i squared so again the i squared is still there i haven't worked it out i will do that and then uh, simplify see if my answer is positive or negative then in the denominator what do i have i have three times three which is nine then three times minus two i this is minus six i and then two i times three this is plus six i positive six i and then 2i times minus 2i, this is negative, because I have a positive times a negative, so this is negative 4, and then i times i is i squared, okay? Then uh, we will simplify, collect any like terms that we have. So here I have 3, that doesn't have any like terms, just in this part, so it's 3, and then minus 2i uh, minus 3i, this is minus 5i, and then 2 times i squared. If you remember, i squared is minus 1. So I have 2 times minus 1. This is minus 2. Okay, then minus. Before I work out uh, this minus 1 times everything, I will simplify my brackets. So I have 3. doesn't have a like term yet. So I put the 3 there. And then I have 2i minus 3i. This is minus 1i, or just i. And then I have minus 2 times i squared. Remember, i squared is minus 1. So I have minus 2 times minus 1. This is positive 2. Okay, then in the denominator, I see these two should cancel out. And it makes sense because these two are conjugates of each other. And then I have 9 minus 4i squared. This is minus 4 times i squared. i squared is minus 1. So I have minus 4 times minus 1. This is plus 4. Okay, so I continue simplifying. Here I have 3 minus 
2. This is 1 minus 5i. And then uh, minus, let me simplify this one. I have 2 plus 3. This is 5. So I have 5 minus i over the denominator. I can combine that. This is 13. Okay, so now I'm ready to remove this uh, bracket. So it's 1 minus 5i minus 5 plus i. Because this is a minus 1, it multiplies with the 5, you get minus 5. It multiplies with the negative i. Negative and negative gives me positive. And then my denominator is 13. Okay, so here all I have to do is collect like terms. It's always good to leave your answer in the form a plus bi okay so when i do that i see one and minus five this is four and then minus five i plus i this is minus four i this is all over 13 and i can just rewrite this as four over 13 minus four over 13 i just to leave it in the form a plus bi